They have been working for a long time to create a physical form that would allow them themselves to enter this world and not just operate, but be able to stay here indefinitely. Mm -hmm. And they take it over. And it's been a long process of centralizing power and centralizing power and centralizing power, getting more and more global central control, more and more surveillance, more and more uh, technological control, like they want everyone microchipped mm -hmm. and everything. And to cull the population, because as I said earlier, the big uh, advantage that the mass of the people have over these manipulators is numbers. There's vastly more people being manipulated than the few in full knowledge who are doing the manipulating. Yeah. And so they want to cull the population uh, to bring the numbers down to something that they can um, handle and they can control when, when they, they make their move to actually come into this reality. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so the, the more that we resist this, the more that we, we, we refuse to comply the more that situation will not be reached. Okay. Um, and this whole swine flu vaccine is absolutely the line in the sand. We must say here and no further. Because if we don't acquiesce to this, their whole agenda is in desperate trouble. Mm -hmm. But they haven't reckoned with this uh, awakening amongst the people? Well, I think they did um, reckon with it a bit, but I'm absolutely convinced they didn't reckon with it on the level that it's actually happening. I think they've been very surprised and shocked by that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think they're going to have a big shock with the number of people who say no. But that's stage one. That's phase one. Right. What's very important is that phase two, when they try to impose this thing, that, that people still stand there and say, right. here and no further. Because if we do that, then um, like I say, a, a, an enormous spanner will be thrown in the works of this conspiracy um, if we don't acquiesce to this, because mass vaccination and the consequences of that mass, mass vaccination are fundamental to the whole agenda going forward. This is a very vital time yeah. for people to, um, to make a stand. I would like to go on a little bit on this, this reptilian uh, story, because that's, uh, a lot of people are uh, yeah, being put off by that, of course, huh? because it's, it's, it's so far out of our uh, natural or conditioned framework. Conditioned mind. framework, yeah, yeah not right. natural, conditioned. No, con conditioned, exactly. I, <laughs> I correct myself. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people uh, yeah, are being put off by that and are ridiculing you because of that. Couldn't care less. Of course. You reach that point, of course, through your process, I understand. But. Um, what 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 uh, the question that lives with me is, is is this we've got this reptilian part of our brain has that got anything to do with that is is there a connection well it's, fu it's fundamentally part of it I mean I'm going to go into this at some length on Saturday because um, people don't realise when they dismiss the whole reptilian stuff just how much reptilian genetics the human body has everybody's human body. Mm -hmm. One of the key systems of the I would say the key system of control. Uh, of humans en masse is that part of the brain that scientists call the reptilian brain or the R complex. This is the survival mechanism. Of, uh, uh, the, the reptilian brain is constantly scanning the environment looking for potential dangers. And it's not just about looking for potential physical dangers, although that's his prime mm. instinct, it's looking for dangers of any kind. Mm -hmm. So when um, you fear losing your job, then that is an expression of survival mechanism. That's the reptilian brain affecting you. When you fear anything, when you, you, you fear not having enough money, that can express itself in, in, in two ways. You can go through life fearing that you're not going to have enough money to pay the rent, or from the other uh, level, you can be so frightened of not having enough that you spend your life accumulating more and more. Mm -hmm. And at that level of the uh, survival mechanism, you've got people who've got more money than they could spend in a hundred lifetimes 
getting up with the sun every morning to go and earn more mm. because the survival mechanism has gone haywire because they associate having far more than enough of everything with a greater chance of survival. Mm -hmm. um, and, and people say, well, you've got all that, what do you want more for? Because the reptilian brain is, 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 is feeding this um, survival mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. The more that I have, the more chance I've got of surviving. It's all the survival mechanism. And um, if you look at the different mass manipulation techniques to get people to act and react the way that this cabal wants them, they're all based on fear, and fear comes through the reptilian brain. It's about reaction. You know, I have a, uh, a technique that I describe as um, problem-reaction-solution, where you covertly create a problem, you tell the people the version of the problem you want them to believe that isn't true, like Bin Laden orchestrating 9-11, and you want the people at the reaction process or the reaction stage to the manufactured problem to, to be in fear, to be in outrage, and say, do something, and then you would covertly create the problem and given the false story of what was behind it, then offer the solutions to the problems you've created, which are changes in legislation which advance your agenda of centralization of control. Now, it's problem, reaction, solution. It's not problem, okay, I'll think about this and ask a few questions, do a bit of research, solution. Reaction, solution. Reptilian brain. It's all targeting the reptilian brain. Why? Because... The reptilian brain, by its very reptilian nature, connects us to the reptilian control system. Okay. You know, there was a, a series of books written in the 1960s by a guy called Carlos Castaneda, yeah, right. who quoted a Central American shaman that he called Don Juan. Now, some people say Don Juan didn't exist, and some people say he did, but I don't care, because the words attributed to Don Juan by Castaneda were absolutely spot on, wherever they came from. Yeah. And what this Don Juan shaman said was that um, humans had, had their mind captured by a predator force, what I would call the reptilians, and that this predator force had given humanity its mind. And, and, and when you look at the, 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 the traits of, of, of humans, you look at the structure of society, I'll go into all this on Saturday and connect mm -hmm. the dots, mm -hmm. you find that there, it's, we live in a reptilian brain society. It's dominated by it. And that's, a, that, and that's a coincidence? No, of course it's not. It's all part of the system. Mm -hmm. And um, what we need to do is disconnect <coughs> ourselves from the, the extremes of the reptilian brain. The reptilian brain is, is good in, in one sense because when you're, when you're driving in your car, and someone crosses the road, and without thinking, you crash on the brake, that's the reptilian brain. That's a good thing. Because the reptilian brain doesn't think and assess, it acts immediately with incredible speed. Um, uh, but that can also work in a very, very negative way when we react to things and then later go, I wish I hadn't have done that. You know, we, people say that all the time. Oh, I went, oh, why did I do that? Why didn't I just think about it? Because the reptilian brain kicked in and took over. So in these things where, like swine flu and, and, and all these other things, and economic collapses, because they're planning a massive economic collapse, well beyond anything we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Instead of, ah, panic, reptilian brain, reaction uh, in, and, and, and responding in the way that we're being manipulated to, deep breath. Don't react to these things. Take a deep breath. Look at it. Ask questions about it. Think about it. And you'll disconnect um, from the reptilian brain's ability to make you react in the desired way. Take, take control of the reptilian brain. Let it be used when it, it, it's good, like ramming on your brakes in a, in a crisis, but take control of it so it doesn't dictate our reaction and perception in areas that are not good for us. Uh, and that's what the manipulation techniques of mass emotional and mind control manipulation is all about, accessing us through the reptilian brain.